Okay, we're back to the menu and I'm gonna show you one of the standalone emulators. The uh, gameplay and the options of these emulators that I'm about to show you apply to the following emulators that I'm gonna mention right now. Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, Game Boy Advance, Hype Intellivision, Nintendo NES, PC Engine, Sega Genesis and 32X, Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy and Wonders One. For this example I'm gonna be using the Super Nintendo emulator. And here it is my friend, the Super Nintendo emulator. I'm gonna show you the configuration first, as you can see on your, on your um, screen. The video configuration for this emulator is to 180i resolution. You can change the game and text screen size position if you want, screenshot or movie preview for settings, and other video configurations, as you can see on the screen. But let's go to choose a game and I'm gonna show you how to configure your game, use cheat codes and much more. We're gonna go to the US releases folder. As you can see the, the, the emulator and all the uh, standalone emulators shows a video preview and a screenshot and the artwork for the game. Let me look for the popular Super Mario World so I can show you how the emulator works. If you see, if you hear voices in the background, I apologize for that. There's people here talking all the time and I can't do anything to stop that. Okay, aquí tenemos Super Mario World. Here is Super Mario World. I'm going about to show you a gameplay of this game. So, when you choose a game, several options appear. Do not move these options or your games are pre-configured to work correctly with your controller. The only op the only thing that I recommend you to change is the core version to 1.42 works much better, faster and you will notice less glitches. So once you change that, you just need to press the B button to start the game. And now we are playing Super Mario World for Super Nintendo at 180i resolution. Pretty cool, huh? While in the game, if you want to add cheats or want to save your game, you just need to press the right stick of your controller and some options will appear. As you can see, there is the option to return to the game, to exit the game, to configure the game, and of course the cheat codes database. If we go to the list cheat codes, you can find all the cheat codes here. If you want to search for a cheat code database, you can go here. And we're gonna choose Action Replay or Game Genie. I personally like the Game Genie code list. As you can see, you can choose several cheat codes such as such as Star with One Life, Nine Lives, Ninety Nine Lives. If you want to have infinite lives, you can do that. If you want to stay invisible most of the time, stay as Super Mario, Fire Mario, or Cape Mario. There's plenty of cheat codes here. But let me apply one of the cheat codes, the Mega Jump, so you can see how it works. To choose the cheat codes, you just need to highlight it up, and then press the A button, and then press B button, and then go back, and then go to list cheat codes, choose the code I, that I just add to my list, press the A button, and turn it on. Now we have turned on the cheat codes. We can go back to the game and test if the cheat code is working.
oh I almost forget if you want to save your game you c you know, just need to press the, the right stick and go to game utilities then you can save or load a state of your game let me go to the first level to see if the cheat that I just applied is working as you can see it's working Mario is jumping super high because I applied the moon jump Okay, now that I show you and give you an idea of how the standalone emulators work, I'm gonna get out this game and gonna show you the multi emulators. Let me go back to the main menu. 